Real quick, before I get started, just a quick show of hands. How many of you have never seen me speak before? If you've never seen me speak before, you can put your hands down. And then raise your hand if this is the first time you've ever heard my talk. <laughs> so it's about even. <laughs> Good. <laughs> my first magic effect I ever learned was a card trick. It was the pick them, you find them type of card trick. You know, where you pick a card, you put it back, and I find it. I've learned probably thousands of those since then in the last 25 years. And I've decided that I was starting to get bored with them. But tonight, I'm going to challenge myself for you all. It was Tom Robbins, the author, in his book, Even Cowgirls Get the Blues, that said, if you take any activity, any art, any discipline, any skill, and you push it to where it's never been before, push it beyond its final boundary, push it to the wildest edge of edges, then you force it into the realm of magic. In order for me to show this to you, I'm going to need a volunteer and some money. By volunteer, I mean I'm going to pick somebody out of the audience. And by money, I mean a $100 bill. Gentlemen, if you'd start looking through your wallets for a $100 bill, I'm serious. And um, what is your name? Uh, Roxanne. Roxanne, if you would meet me at the front of the stage, everybody will give you a round of applause as you meet me right here at the front of the stage. This is for you, and a $100 bill. Anybody in the audience, if you just put your hand up, I need a 100, oh, all the way in the back there, is that, I can't tell that, if that gentleman right there, if you go grab his 100 rocks hand, bring it back up here, and uh, go ahead, all the way in the back, there you go, wave it up, go ahead and grab that and bring it back. I started magic at 12 years old. I've been doing this now full time for about 17 years. And tonight what I'm gonna try to do is take the pick a card idea just a little bit further than it ever has been before. Instead of having one card selected and found, I'm going to have seven cards selected and found. Go ahead, come up here and join me and everybody. Excellent, you're doing great. And if you could do me a favor and keep that $100 bill face down, face down, it's just that, yes, Benjamin Franklin kind of freaks me out. And uh, you right there, if you would grab this microphone for me right there, the young lady right there at the end, excellent. And what is your name? Suda. Suda, that's for you, great. Thank you, Roxanne, for joining me here. And uh, just put the 100 face down again. I don't know what it is about Benjamin Franklin. I think it's his forehead. He's got a, he's got a five head, actually. Um, and Sir, uh, what was your name who gave me the $100 bill? Kurt. Kurt. Don't worry, you will get this back in the mail. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Kurt. You're not going to get it back. Now, <laughs> Kurt, I'm going to take your 100 and put it in my wallet. Nice and safe right there. Oh, and that's for you. That's my business card. Go ahead and take that for you. And uh, make sure there's nothing underneath that in that pocket right there. Ooh, foreshadowing. Where's he going with this? I don't know. I hope it's good. Great. And you can hold on to that. So, seven cards. You know what? Eight. I'm going to go for eight cards. Let's just push it to the limit. So let's see. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ending with you, sir. You'll be number seven. And the eighth card will be for you, my dear. Okay. Now, uh, Kurt, great, glad you're still here, buddy. <laughs> Kurt, you're going to be deciding which cards everybody gets, but before we do that, you are the eyes and ears for the audience here, my dear. I'm going to spread these out so you can see those. You notice they're all different? Do you know why they make them all different? It's okay, I have no idea either. I think it's so you can tell them apart. Yeah. I do know why they make all the backs the same, though. That's so you know which box to put it in when you're done. I read that on the internet, so must be true. <laughs> Kurt. <Yeah>. Great. <laughs> Kurt, I'm going to cut the deck like this. Whenever you want, you just tell me when to stop. stop. Right there? Yep. And I will deal eight cards. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, 
eight cards. Now I'm going to ask each of you all in the front row to remember your card. Now if you have poor vision, you won't be able to see the card. I'm going to show it to the camera. I promise not to look at the screen to my left, okay? Great. So starting with you, Suda. You can't see it. I'll hold it right there. Is that good? Great. Don't forget your card. And sitting next to Suda, that's your card right there. Got it? Excellent. Your name, sir? Jeff. Jeff, can you see that all right? Yeah. You're not a G-off, are you? No. Good. <laughs> and sitting next to Jeff, that's your card right there. Can you see that okay? Excellent. And then that's for you. Can you see that okay? Oh, great, great. Got to hear you out loud. I'm not a mind reader. And uh, <laughs> next there. You got it memorized? Good. And then for you, sir, that's your card right there. Got it? And last but not least, Roxanne, this is your card. And I'm going to let everybody see that card as well. And I want everybody else to remember that card, just in case. Roxanne's up here. Her job's the toughest. So if you can help her remember that, that'd be great. Great. And you'll notice I left all the cards sticking out just for a moment so you can see they're spread throughout the deck. They're not all right next to each other. That makes it a lot harder for me to find them. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> and Roxanne, if you would, both of your hands, just push those cards in for me right quick. Oh, yes. Your technique was flawless. Starting with you, Suda, you have that microphone. Into the microphone, nice and loud. What was your card? Four of spades. Four of spades. Four. F O U R. Four of spades. Thank you. There's like seven more to go, so maybe we'll hold it all in, huh? And then when we get to Roxanne's card, we'll just go crazy. Next up. Five of hearts. Five. F I V E. Five of hearts. You get nervous for me there? Don't worry, I got this under control. Check it out. Huh? You can do that behind my back, too. Ooh, and all the way back up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't laugh. Some people buy it. <laughs> Jeff. Three of diamonds. Three. T-H-R-E-E. -E. Three of diamonds. Next up. Four of clubs. Four. F-O-U-R. Four of clubs. Roxanne, you know what they call this right here? Check that. You know what that is? No. It's showing off. <laughs> Three of hearts. Three of hearts. T-H-R-E-E. -E. Three of Fives are wild. <laughs> fives are wild. No, really, look at the five. It kind of looks, looks like a three if you use your imagination. Oh. Oh, you guys thought I was a big old loser. And I was like, whatever. My mom says I'm a winner. You'll use it. Next up. Two of diamonds. Two, T-W-O, two of diamonds. You, sir? Three of clubs. Three of clubs, T-H-R-E-E, -E. three of clubs. And last but definitely not least, everybody remembers Roxanne's card? What was it? Eight of spades, right? Right? R I G H T, right? Right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You know, before I go any further, I tell you what, let's let's do this one more time. We're taking it to the edge. I'm gonna take all of your cards, I'm gonna put them back in the deck. This time, not only will I find them, I will do it with lightning fast, Jackie Chan, Bruce Lee speed. Jackie Chan style. Ooh, whoops, 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 
，我噗，嘿，噗噗噗噗噗噗，我噗。Sorry about that. I was crouching magician, hidden cards, and the cards really are hidden, folks. Actually, if you'll look through the entire deck, you'll notice that each and every one of your cards are now gone. But where did they go, Mr. Magician? I'm glad you asked, Roxanne. <laughs> if you'll remember at the very beginning. I borrowed a hundred dollar bill. I handed you my business card. I had you check that pocket inside. Now, <laughs> inside in that same exact pocket, it's a packet of cards, which just happens to be the four of spades, five of hearts, three of diamonds, four of clubs, three of hearts, two of diamonds, three of clubs, and the right. But where's the element of surprise? I mean, I'm up here on stage in front of what three, four thousand people. <laughs> I had eight people select a card. Of course, I'm going to find them. I'm a professional reality thief, whatever that means. Well, I'll tell you where the surprise is. Remember at the beginning when I had you bring the hundred up from Kurt? Yeah. <laughs> I told you to keep it face down. I said I didn't want to see the president. Right. What I really didn't want to see was the serial number. On Kurt's $100 bill, would you go ahead and open it up? Oh yeah. <laughs> What was the first number on the serial number? Four. Four? Yeah, that microphone right there might help out. <laughs> Next number? Five. Five. Oh, you picked a five. Three. Three. Four. Four. Three. Three. Two, three. three, and the last number, right. Thank you. Take that back to Kurt. Thank you so much, Roxanne. You're amazing. My name is Brad Barton, Reality Thief. Thank you all very much.